I'd like to wish the Royal Air Force a very happy birthday in this centenary year. Um, aviation has always been connected to STEM, science and engineering. And um, look back through the history of the Royal Air Force to Sir Frank Whittle, the first jet engine, and also an aircraft that's very dear to my heart, the English Electric Lightning. I grew up seeing that aircraft in the Manchester Museum and fortunately got to fly in one in South Africa, one of the great experiences of my life, an example of world leading British engineering. And you see that inspiration today, particularly in the work that I do with JET. Um, you see students who come to RAF bases, speak to Red Arrows pilots, or places like Filingdales, the, the radar in North Yorkshire, and see cutting edge technology um, at its best. They see British leadership in STEM through the Royal Air Force, and it is immensely valuable. So again, happy birthday Royal Air Force, and here's to the next 100 years. Perhaps we'll be talking about the first, the first aircraft flying across the surface of Mars with a Royal Aircraft insignia on it. That's what I'd like to see in the next century.